tell the story what happened. Can you tell that story on the air what happened? What? Come on. What? Artie, it's the greatest story. Come Let me on, tell it. Tell me something. I told, I told my girlfriend the story last night. She was dying. Yeah, well, it, I mean, it, Artie had it, an experience in Vegas, but I don't know if he wants to tell. Let me just oh, talk to him. Please. It, it did, Is it, it a bad thing to say? It didn't happen this weekend. It happened another time in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, it happened another time. <laughs> oh, you wag ball. Uh, I mean, it's one of those great Vegas you can't stories. Tell it. That, Let me uh, tell it. Let me tell it. Yeah, I'm sure you'll you'll do a great job with it. You're saying you can tell it, Harry. Just say Can I tell it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why don't you tell it? And then, you know, and I'll, I'll move life. to Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if it's going to ruin you, I'm not going to tell it. Look, you better tell it now. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. If it's, if it's going to ruin you, I'm not going to tell it. Because you told me in confidence. Yeah, I, I thought but I did. it's so great. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Look, here. All week long. Hold it, Robin. Wait a minute. Let me just say this is what you You know doing. you keep stuff secret. No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> what am I keeping secret? Oh, please. Anyway. God knows what went on in your room. Week, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Naked or something. All week long, you kept <laughs> implying that Artie was up to something. Yeah. And I've been sitting there going, what, what, what? Nobody's telling me anything. Well, I'm trying to get Artie to talk about it. Why doesn't he want to talk tell about Artie? it? Well, no, no. All right, all right. I got to tell the story. All right, I'll tell the story. <laughs> Artie, if you gotta hear this. <laughs> so we're in Vegas. Oh God! Artie's hanging out at Club Paradise every yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. So one night he's in there. <laughs> God. And he's with uh, he's with this chick, and she's like giving him lap dances. She's all over him. Right. She's really hitting it off with her. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, one thing leads to another. She gave you her number, right? Right. <laughs> no, no, no. She, she do not want me to say this. I won't she, say it. I'll stop right here. Come on, buried buried anyway. No, no, no. Can I say it? It's, it's, I don't uh, want you to be mad at me. She gave me a, a phone number. Oh, she yeah. gave, you, gave you the phone number. Yeah, he's okay. not going to be angry. What is he going to be <laughs> so, Are you going to be angry? <laughs> don't get well, mad at me. I'm going to get angry. Right, I mean, okay, I'm, okay, I'm, okay. I'm a fun-loving guy. Right. I thought so, we were all friends. So am I not being a pal if I tell this? Because I'll stop right now. I mean, is it too late? No. You're not going to stop. I haven't said anything yet. He's going to have to tell whoever he was trying to keep it from now anyway. Wait a second, wait a second. What do you make up a million things? You want me to stop right now? No, no. Go ahead, tell us. Oh, all right, so. My so, first love is this show. Right. So anyway, Artie, so Artie goes back to his room. <laughs> He's drunk out of his mind. I went gambling for a little while. Yeah. Right. Give some time. Yeah. I went to go so play it's like five crap. in the morning. Yeah. He figures, what the hell, I'll give the girl a call. Hey, what the hell? Calls her up. <laughs> you know, what are you doing? She says, I'm coming over. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Artie, like, you know, a hot stripper. Wow. So he goes, great. She shows up. John, do you know the story? No. Okay. I heard something. She, she's in the room maybe one minute. Uh-huh. Whips off her clothes. Oh. Gets into bed with Artie. <laughs> he bangs her a couple of times, gets some oral. I mean, the whole, the whole they thing. They get around the gets world. around the world, right? Oh my God, my, my mother's like, calling realtors right it's now. Like seven, it's like 7.30 in the morning. Now. This has gone yeah. on for two hours. Wow. It's been wild. A drunken wild. Yeah, wild. Like, wild. And, it actually went on for like eight minutes, and we slept for like an hour. <laughs> and, yeah, and Artie's like, man, this is the great. It's Vegas. Uh, I love Vegas. Love Vegas. I love Vegas. I'm, in, I'm on the Howard Stern show, man. It's just it's, falling in my lap. It's all falling in his lap. Right. 7.30, I because I said to Artie, I go, what time does this chick leave? He goes, 7.30. I go, that's perfect. Like, two hours and she gets yeah, the hell she out, right? Yeah, she doesn't even ask to stay. He says, here's the kicker. She's getting up to leave. She goes, listen, for everything, it's $500. <laughs> Get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Thank you. The greatest, <laughs> the greatest story ever. <laughs> So I said you didn't pay her because she because she should have said up front that that's what she was looking for. Yeah, well, so so he goes. He said, you know what, man? He goes, look, I, I'm in <laughs> Vegas. I'm with the show. I don't want to have an incident in my hotel room. Could you imagine? And plus, I'm under the name Greg Nettles. Yeah, I don't want to get him in trouble. <laughs> so Artie just gave her the money and freaked out. Are you, that's Thank what you were saying. You were down so much. I money. still had about six grand left in cash, so I like groggily get up and I'm, I'm thinking in my head, this gonna happen. Yeah. I was. I was it could have happened, you know? Right. Well, what, what's being on the show helping me now? Maybe I got a discount or something. Yeah, so he, I, I mean, he doesn't have to pay well, for it. Well, wait a minute. You'd, have you ever paid for it before? Well, let's just move on. <laughs> but, <laughs> tipper? <laughs> tipper? I wanted to throw it out the window. I, I didn't want to get into an argument with some whore. And, uh, you know, so so I, I go up and 
I, I get like I had a little room service like under the cheeseburger. I had cash. Are you? And I sure? go get money and I grogly like give it to her and she's like, all right, I'll see you again. So I'm like, yeah, I'll see you again, sweetheart. Uh, <laughs> right. But is that why you were down so much in Vegas? That's the money you lost. No, no. <laughs> the money I lost. The money. That, I mean, you know. Dude, I, let me tell you something. <laughs> so then I didn't spiral into an awful First depression. Of all, so I started getting pissed. I said to Artie, I said, listen. Number one, if she'd said to you up front, listen, uh, you know, it's going to cost you. Right. That's one thing. She just can't come into your room, have sex with you, then all of a sudden turn to you and say, I want some money. Yeah, I would, but, well, but what like, is that in the whore handbook? I got to pick up and make uh, no, court? What, I, I mean, mean, did you, you know, at least say to her, hey, honey, you know, you kind of misled me here. I thought you dug me. False advertising. Well, th this is how, wh what she said in the club originally was, this makes it even more repulsive, is she goes, I want to come to New York and get evaluated. Right. The show for right. Playboy, whatever you know. We do let's bring her in. Yeah. I mean, you know, and see how good uh, your five hundred bucks got. Yeah, we'll evaluate her. <laughs> and then, um, and tell, then I'll tell her you, she owes you four hundred back. Yeah. <laughs> and then I uh, was she worth five hundred? No, no. I mean, I, did it make it? Now, see, you thought this girl was really into you, and you were buying the whole line. I didn't think she was really into me. I'm not retarded, but I mean, I thought like being on a show, I had a nice suite. <laughs> I got to tell you something. You know, Five hundred bucks is a lot of money too. I mean, well, who does she think she is? Especially, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I mean, she normally gets like a hundred. Yeah. Yeah, she had you. She knew it. Yeah, it just keeps getting better and better. How about, you were, how about negotiating <laughs> price ahead of time? How about, our friend of mine, you know, got a prostitute in, in, in Las Vegas. It was one hundred fifty bucks. Of course. Yeah, but right. I didn't get a prostitute. <laughs> yes, but he didn't. But he did it. Yeah. I mean, he didn't know he was in, involved with that. Right. Yeah. There was no indication. Are you sure? <laughs> Am I sure what? That there was no indication menu? that this was a pay job. I mean, I was drinking, but I, 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 I she gave me a phone number, and I called her up after I played craps. And you know how it is. It's not like I won say, money playing craps. I was in a great mood. Um, I won some of the money back that I lost yeah. during cars. It's not like he could say, how much is it going to cost me? I mean, that, that would be a total insult. No, no, he thought that yeah. the chick was gone. Yeah. Listen, I know lots of guys who've gone to strip clubs and hooked up with the strippers afterwards, and it's not a paid thing. Just it's not like, Artie. They're just kind of into each other. And well, Artie was like, man, this is great. <laughs> what it's I'm, finally happening to me. What I'm thinking is that she's probably like a drug addict or something, and she needed cash, so she figured... She'd roll... She roll all arty. Yeah. Not roll. She didn't roll me, but... <laughs> well, no, I'm not saying roll. She just said, hey, I'll have to do a little bit to get my fix, huh? Because Ralph out there got rolled. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. Oh, really? he, was, he was with a chick, and he was drinking. And I mean drinking heavily. And he was kind of, you know, out of it. And he met this hot chick. Or at least he thinks she was hot. At least he thinks she was a chick. And they were making out and stuff. And, like, he kind of remembers being in and out of it. And he, all he knows is when he woke up the next morning, every dime he had on him, about 700 bucks, was gone. gone. Oh, yeah. And he didn't give it to her. So she went through his pants. But he didn't care. <laughs> yeah, he said he didn't care. She was hot and was worth it. Yeah. By the way, let me interrupt for a second. Uh, New York City's busy Port Authority bus terminal has been shut down. You know we're on a, an alert. alert. Metro source reporter Scott Sal uh, Salato says traffic around the Midtown Terminal is tied up for blocks. Fox News is reporting that the terminal was closed after a suspicious package was found. Mm. Oh, no. It comes as the FBI has issued its fourth warning of a credible threat against the United States. They believe terrorists from Yemen could be considering a plot targeting the U.S. or American interests in Yemen as uh, early as today. So there's a suspicious package. We don't know what it is. I wonder what a suspicious package is. Yeah. Any p parcel left alone these days. You couldn't have broke this story hey. ten minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> F that. Let's call Artie's hooker. <laughs> I'm do you still have our number? No, I got rid of it. Oh. Yeah, we already had a bomb go off in here. I we got to call her. I got rid of it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I got rid of the phone number. You know what? What? What is it? You just uh, you put me off to the side. You t you can describe her to me. I'll call the club. I'll get her number. <laughs> is that against the club? I honestly, guys, I well, the club has nothing. The club has her. no knowledge. Yeah, this that, is her, her off time. They didn't set that up. She's doing it on her no, off no, time. No, no, no. I'm not saying that the club is. But are, is it against the club rules for hookers? I mean, of course. For strippers. To go out and hook? Yeah. yeah. Of course it is. So she could lose her job. Yeah. Yeah, then and rightly so. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't mind if a chick hooks, but already tell me up front I got to pay. Didn't you say? Did it ever dawn on you to say to her, "Hey, you never said anything about money"? Well, first of all, it wasn't it wasn't uh, at Club Paradise. Oh, it wasn't no. Oh, okay, that's interesting. But it, it never dawned on you to say, "Hey, you know what? We never talked about money. What do you mean five hundred bucks?" 
Uh, it dawned on me to say all that stuff, but it was dawn. And <laughs> but you should have at least you should have at least See, taught. Artie, you no, Artie explained to me. He said he just didn't want to have Can any. What if wait, you went nuts? But I'll, I'll bet nuts. you. I'll bet you if Artie would have said that, she probably would have dropped it. And then if she would have made a scene, you'd have given her the five hundred bucks. What if she would have went nuts and, and had Artie arrested or something? I mean, if she starts yelling, I don't want to see Greg Nettles get arrested. <laughs> I don't know. He was just freaked out. I get that, but... You don't understand that you don't want to, like... Uh, no, no, I do understand, but but you should just... I mean, it's okay to, to say, hey, well, I, gosh, I didn't know there was going to be any money involved. And she would have said, oh, yeah, I get it.